Hey, just one minute, I'm going to show you how to create very simple logo. You don't have to be a techie person. Go to canva.com. There's usually a lot of templates to work with, but for the sake of this video, no templates. We're just going to start from scratch. Type in your company name, change the font, then change the font value, reduce it, centralize it, go to shapes, get this bar, resize, place behind the, the company name, change the color, and then uh, set it behind your text. Bring this frame and then put it back on there and then resize and centralize then download by using png format so that it will make your logo clear so there you have it one minute tutorial on how to make a logo that was an instagram tutorial that i prepared just for one minute but however it can as well serve as overview for an in-depth tutorial you need to know that it's not a replacement for photoshop because there are a lot of things that you cannot achieve in canva but it is a platform where you can actually come up with very quick designs you know if you're not tech savvy if you're not if you're not a photoshop person you know you can easily just use this i know a lot of people who use this platform to achieve a lot of uh, quick designs you know like you want to do a blog post and then um, you really don't have time to go photoshop anything you can easily just uh, come up with a quick design on canva and that is the relevance of this platform and that is why a lot of people are using it so without further ado let's uh, give a detailed tutorial of how to use canva before we continue i wanted to first and foremost see what is actually possible with canva platform these are some designs i've been able to come up with i'm showing you this to tell you that depending on how creative you are you can do almost anything on on canva i know that it's quite restrictive in a lot of ways but if you know exactly what you're doing and what you want to create there's a whole bunch of things you can do on there so let's get into this tutorial and see so i want to assume that you have an account with canva and it is free to sign up so once you get on there you log in once you sign up for your account you you log in and then you most likely would encounter this page first so these are templates so i'm going to attempt to just go through the various stages of this particular platform so that you understand how it works like i said before there are paid side of things and there are also free side free side of things with free side of things you have access to a lot of tools that will help you create awesome awesome graphic designs platform is it's a very simple click and drop drag and drop if you will type task you perform here to act to actually be able to come up with great looking graphic designs so i'll just attempt to go through for a moment so once you come on here there are various number of templates that you can use to to begin to create your designs and then up here you will see uh, use custom dimensions and once you click on here it's going to take you to another plate let's go ahead and click on it you see right here once you input your value it automatically give you what you want let's say 2000 by 2000 pixels it will give you that you just click on this and it will give you a plain canvas to start to customize your designs so um, let's exit out of here so this is the, the template area you have um, they have all kinds of templates customized for social media YouTube thumbnails and so on and so forth on here so you you get the idea let me not dwell on that for too long they are a whole bunch of templates that you just go ahead and explore it I don't expect if you're new on this platform I don't expect that you will have any designs yet so but for me this is where all the designs go whenever i create anything they go on this folder 
you can actually create a team in here your brand you can actually do your branding say for instance you have colors for your website or colors for whatever it is that you do let's say you have a variation of two colors so what you can do is you can customize your brand your brand logo your colors so that you can always just have things customized in a certain way and then your colors that you use for your logos and for your posting will be quite consistent because you will be able to customize it all right so uh, let's get into this design right here and see what we can do like i said uh, this platform has paid version and um, free version you know but you can actually use the free version for whatever it is you want to use it for so basically let me show you um how this thing works it's very very easy even if i didn't do a tutorial on this i'm sure a lot of you out there will be able to figure it out by just so basically when you come on here we're picking a, a plain canvas now so that we can reproduce this when you come on here you there are a few things you need to know you can create as many designs as possible in a row they have a ton of things to use here templates to use here if you want to use them let me just give you an example let's say for instance this one once you click on there it will populate this canvas that out of the way so yeah these are your templates and then you can see quite a bunch of these things are free of charge and they have well over 1 million free images you can use to to do your designs if you're doing your blog post you have a ton of images to use for that purpose so let's take for instance what well, now that we want to customize logo you see logo you just go in there and type in logo and hit enter it will give you all these things right here easily just pop one in and start to customize it can put your company name here or your website's name or your business name no, no matter what it is you can put it on here and it will work just fine or you can even decide to change the font type and you can decide to change the color of these flower petals or leaves whatever so uh, basically that is how that works you know let's just get rid of that let's start a design first and foremost what you need to do is to get to know what these tools here are for as you can see this one what you really need is the text if you're starting a fresh design this is where the texts are you know these are elements like shapes sizes and what have you there's a whole bunch of things there are free photos you have grids you have uh, frames picture frames you have lines you have illustrations and so on and so forth icons all of those good stuff so this is background like if you want to change the color of the background you can change it from here so um let's start with the with the text so we we'll just go here pop in the the text tool and then change that since we're going into details with what we have seen before let me not spend so much time here so now that has been tightened and then we can easily go here and change that font the font there are a whole bunch of fonts on here to use but the one i will use for this this tutorial right now is this one so to change the size you just come here and increase the size a little bit then grab it from the side and in, and stretch it out so that you can you know do whatever you need to do with it then grab it and put it to the center now you realize that there are two purple lines crisscrossing the canvas or the workspace so uh, that is just to guide you to, to, to say that where you have positioned this text right now is centralized. That is the guide for what you're doing. And do, then after doing that, you see these tools right here. 
it to space out the font or the text you know it will create space in between the text so that is what it's for so i realized that this whole thing is really really in vogue now and i kind of like it so i use it a lot so you just pull it the if you stretch it all the way to the end it will give it more spacing but this is where i want right here right now i'm giving it like then if you stretch it all the way down it will squeeze them together so but you don't want that so let's stretch it out like i want to do it all righty we have it where we want it so you come back here and stretch it out again so that it evens out make sure you centralize it then the next thing will be to to create a box around the middle okay before i do that let's just go here and highlight the three middle fonts highlighted you can do whatever you want to do uh, this is what i want to do you know it really doesn't matter it's all about choice so let's uh, give that a white no let's let's do this for that okay so you can go here for your colors and customize your colors however you want it it's very easy you can also uh, come on here and enter the color the code of the color you want to use you can get onto certain tools will help you actually customize your colors and give it some really nice color combination and then you can copy the code and and pop it in here and it will give you the exact shade wherever it is you picked it from you know that's what th that's for you know so let's pick a box if you want to pick your box you come to these elements there and then come to shape there are all kinds of shapes there it doesn't uh, no matter the shapes you need you can have it here you also have this um these frames you know i rarely use that you know but for the sake of what we're doing i'll just pop in this one you know and i have been able to use these shapes to create whatever all kinds of things i actually if you see this i actually this these lines here that you can see so that is how it works so you come here and resize this by grabbing it from the top grab it from this side from the bottom it's like i said it's very easy uh, grab it from the side too till you hit this thing right here the the o come from this way too and then pull it to you till you find this and then now i have it where i want it now you're wondering why how am i going to see the letters you know so what you want to do is you want to put it behind the front letter because this let this this bar right here or the box whatever it's blocking the the text so what you actually want to do is to put it behind the text by coming here arrange click it and then click back automatically that takes it to the back of the text you know and then um if you want to put it back in front sorry about that that's not where i meant to go um, all right so if you want to put it back in front of it you know you just simply click on the text go to arrange and put it back there and it, it will go back there so let's undo that to undo this you can easily just press command z on mac and then ctrl z on windows there you have it so let's put a frame over it you can either go perfect square or you go this route but for the sake of this i'm just going to use this curved edge box box you know and then there you have it our logo is ready you know so that's how this works it's very easy very simple you know you can try what you want to try and see what works for you it's all about what you like it's there's no hard and fast rule about this whole thing 
is all about what you like you can pop in some colors if we want to pop in colors we can easily just come here and do that you know there you have our color you know let's um let's beautify it a little bit you know you know let's um i try to keep it quite consistent by staying within a by staying within some color variation between like one to two colors without you know so it doesn't look too uh too colorful there you have it man i hope this actually makes sense uh for you so now we want to actually download it you know so downloading it you come here and then click on download you can also share it um then you can change the name of the file like you want to download it um you can change the name of the file here and another thing you need to understand is that as you're working the the website automatically saves your work so if for any reason this whole thing logs out or it goes off don't panic because your stuff are automatically saved you know by the website so this is how you save you can pop in whatever name you want to pop in in here and then click done it will save it in that name you know but it automatically picked this name because that's what i typed so um that's how to save. then you want to download it before we download i'm going to show you something here you can easily uh upload pictures from your desktop or pictures from your computer you know by coming to upload your own images once you click on here it will automatically flip the interface to uh, the uploader and then you'll have access to your desktop these are photos in my desktop you can easily pick photos from your desktop and upload it once you pick the image you want to upload you click open and it will automatically upload it to this segment right here so this will be the segment for your photos so um that is that is for that it will upload it once you upload it you can easily pop it in and do your picture or use your picture for whatever you want to use it for so let's make sure this is centralized once this has been done we can now go ahead and download our image you can actually you see these tabs right here you can actually copy this and have to say for instance you want to actually check another variation of that or you want to just try other things you want to look at other colors and see what works best for you you can easily just copy that without having to start a fresh design from scratch you know you want to just click on that thing on that icon that right there it will copy and then you can actually use the this arrow to rearrange your designs you know in a row you know if you want this to become number one design you know you just scroll up you keep scrolling up until you until it hits number one place right you see that so that's what that arrow is for and then of course this is to trash your design if you don't want it you just click on there and then you trash it so basically this is how it works and then let's download it once you are done with your design you want to come here and then hit the download button and then pop in the number here if you're downloading all of the all of the designs in that row you just uh, allow it to to download all the pages and it will download all of them to a particular folder on your download uh, on your download folder so but in this case I'm only downloading one so I'll just input the figure right here number one usually it will give you options I like PDF, you know, because the they, they downloads from PDF or to PDF formats can be very, very crisp and sharp, you know, but you know very well that 
a lot of platforms will not accept PDF. PDF is a is another type of format, but you know it can be like JPEG or PNG or JPG. So you can upload a PDF to your Facebook feed or Instagram feed kind of a format that it's printable like if you want to print high resolution uh, images you you should uh, use PDF but in this case this is what is recommended a PNG uh, basically once you hit the PNG uh, option you come down here you see this transparent background you are going to tick off on that particular circle so that it will make the background of your design transparent but however i need to let you know that it's it's only available on paid version if you had a paid version you easily can just tick off on that and then it will automatically be transparent as as soon as you get it downloaded but let's just go ahead and download it we don't need to do that right now so you download it and there we go man so let's open our design on the computer hoping yours is working well for you too so basically here is the design there you have it thank you for watching and see you on another video i'll urge you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that and then hit the bell notification uh, so that you will get notified whenever i upload another tutorial stay tuned for more of such simple tutorial for how to create a simple website you know without any kind of uh, coding and all of that stuff ciao take care bye